the fraternity house I belonged to, um, had four season seats to the Boston Symphony. And these technically oriented nerds seemed to prefer to play bridge with each other rather than go to the symphony. So I got to use the symphony tickets, got dates, and took them out to dinner, and took them to the symphony, and we were just in, in, in great form. People like Ed deserve to be recognized. There's just not too many people like that in the world that are selfless, giving, have a, uh, a sense of responsibility, the kind of responsibility that for others that we just don't have enough of. He's, he's very old fashioned uh, and he's very uh, new world. He's unique. I always have considered Linda to be an icon. She's certainly somebody I admire on many, many fronts. She is a hardworking woman, has worked her entire life in her own store with her own mark on that store and on the community. She's not afraid to push the envelope, whether it's in clothing or in art or in conversation, and I really admire that about her. She's a deep thinker. She's on our executive committee at MOCAD. She brings a lot to the table. She thinks about things beyond the obvious. And in so many situations, she's proven to be the voice of reason. Orders point back, I don't know, around 2000, I think. I endowed the first viola seat in the orchestra. And we're very proud to be able to do that. Ed and Linda are integral parts of the DSO family. Their commitment to many organizations, while quiet and understated, is quite robust. And I have never met a couple that has a more exciting and adventurous spirit. The thing about Ed and Linda that strikes me the most is their passion for everything that they do, whether that's in the businesses that they have run, whether it's in their involvement with organizations or in their travel. They're absolutely passionate about everything that they do. And that passion shows in their commitment to the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. You listen to one of these concerts, it just takes you away from whatever else you were thinking about. And you become, you become one with the orchestra you know, as much as you can as you're sitting and being a viewer. And it's just a delightful thing. It's a delightful way to be together as well. I, I confess it's a lovely thing to be together. And we, we enjoy our evenings at the symphony very much.